welcome back to my YouTube channel and yeah so today we're just gonna do basically the same thing that we did in the last video which is just showing you how I go from sketchbook to procreate and this is just an image that I took again from my sketchbook and this time I went directly in with color which was particularly irritating to do because I forgot what layers I had used initially and sometimes you have to figure out your layers because sometimes you use a multiply layer on top of a particular color and it won't look exactly how you want it to look so it kind of took me a minute to figure out what I wanted but otherwise I was generally pleased with how this painting turned out and yeah, this is just me putting together the base colors and trying to figure out how everything will look together. I just reduced the opacity of the original just to make sure I could still see my underlying line art. And just, you know, keep me in a good steady place where I knew where everything was going even though it looked a mess. <laughs> At this point, I'm just, you know, adding a few highlights, trying to define her clothing a little bit and working out which brushes I wanted to use because I kept on changing the textures and at some point I couldn't decide what color I really wanted it to be because this was supposed to be just a simple little sketch for fun until I decided I liked it <laughs> and Sometimes it's good to do that. I think we all need to have a bad drawing, which, you know, it gets you somewhere. At least you did some practice. You managed to get some of that time in because sometimes you just have to keep practicing every day, regardless of if what you do looks nice or not. And I personally tend to start something and not finish it. And if Honestly, if I don't like something, I tend to just delete it instead of going back to it because the feeling of saying, oh, I'll just go back to it and delete it or I'll just, yeah, I don't know. It just, it comes very frustrating for me because I don't feel motivated to do something and I'm not one person who likes to give up on stuff, but when it comes to my art, I feel it helps me to just stop, figure something else out, and just change the whole thing or just get rid of it altogether if I don't like it. Because if I stick on it for a long time, I find myself getting very frustrated, very bored, and I just... It takes me longer to start something else afterwards because in my head, I'm like, I have to finish this. I have to make this look good, I have to improve on this, I have to change the color on this and I don't think that's really healthy for me because I always find myself really stressed out over the most mundane thing and I just, I don't think that's healthy for anyone. So I personally would recommend that if ever you find yourself doing a painting that you don't like or halfway through you just don't feel like you like the direction that it's going you could just you know put it aside delete it and just start something else from scratch because I don't see any reason to dwell on something but if you are different and you have a different way of approaching things some people are motivated by finishing something and then going on to the next thing then you do that because at the end of the day each person has their own way of making things work for me that just happens to be mine and I think it, it works pretty well for me I tend to get more work done as opposed to just dwelling on the one thing that I hate which honestly it isn't it isn't a bad thing but if you work the way I work it's not a great idea but just to go back to this painting me adding 
tiny details to this that I kept on changing my mind on. But <laughs> that's um, besides the point. I just had to use a few stamp uh, brushes that I had got online. I don't remember where exactly, but... I always use the stamp and then decide I don't like it and just add a few more details to it. But you can see that the process keeps on changing and I keep on moving things around, adding some color, you know, because you need that blush <laughs> to make this person not look like they're decomposing, which I don't know, it sounds weird to say, <laughs> but just adding some brightness and warmth to the color just to make it look a bit more uh, dewy, I guess. Just, you know, to give her a bit of life to her face, which I did for the most part, because she turned out to be kind of pale, which I didn't really like, if I'm honest, but it worked out in the end. I really like the colors on this. It, it, it's not normally what I do because I tend to really try and render a lot of my work and get it to look super, super realistic. But every once in a while, I like to just play around with stuff and keep it more cartoony, I guess. I'm, I'm really trying to get my simplified style to a certain point where... I can eventually move into more of an animated look as opposed to my super super rendered stuff and I just enjoyed working on this because it didn't take me as long <laughs> as figuring out where each individual stroke would go but I liked this painting because it just gave me a bit more freedom and I was able to just play around with it a bit more and see what I liked and didn't like with my more cartoony style. It um, turned out to be a bit more um, on the darker spectrum <laughs> at first because it was supposed to be a bright and shiny, you know, smiley, happy, go lucky type painting, but it turned out to be, you know, pretty chill and I kind of like that. But, like always, we have to add our little highlights just to give it that vavoom. <laughs> va -va -va <-voom. laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And please share if you liked this video. Don't forget to watch more and more and more. Bye!